Adjusterpedia.com. Hello, everyone. Brett with Adjusterpedia.com. If you find our videos helpful, please like and subscribe. Today, I'm going to show you how to put code upgrades in your line items for, for coverages. A lot of companies or a lot of contractors will ask insurance carriers to cover, and the most common one's going to be ice and water barrier that you're going to find, and it's a code upgrade. The carrier's not going to cover it unless it's a code upgrade by the city or county where the dwelling is located. Um, so we're going to have to change the coverages to match so the carrier knows that it is a code upgrade. Uh, another thing about code upgrades, basically, is most carriers will only cover for code upgrades up to 10% of what the policy limit is. So if you have a $350,000 house, the code upgrade is going to be covered up to $35,000. And you're going to want to remember that, and I'll show you why. So let's get started. I'm going to go up here, top left, under Claim Info and I'm gonna click on the Coverage Loss tab. Down at the bottom, you're gonna find where the coverages are. You can have dwelling, other structures, contents, loss of use. There could be multiple uh, coverages listed. Uh, under dwelling, though, is where we're gonna concentrate because that's where the code upgrade is gonna go for ice and water shield or ice and water barrier. Uh, so we're gonna scroll to the right here and under Add Options, let's go ahead and left click Add Options. Under Additional Coverage, we're going to click the down, gray, down drop down arrow here, and I already have it in here because I've already set it up. But what you're going to do, it's not going to be in here. I'm going to click on Smart List. And under Smart List, you are going to click on Add. And under Additional Coverages, you're going to type in Code Upgrades right here. And then under Type, drop down arrow, Code Upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. You're going to click OK. And then you're going to choose Code Upgrades. And you're going to click OK again. Now we have our additional coverage as Code Upgrade. <clears throat> and remember what I was telling you about the 10% limit for Code Upgrades um, as far as what the policy limit's going to be. I don't have a policy limit set down here. So let's go ahead real quick. I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to put the policy at let's say $350,000, all right? So you're already gonna have a policy limit in there more than likely if this is an assignment from a carrier. So I'm gonna go back and click on edit options and the aggregate limit I'm gonna put in is 10% of the 350, which would be 35,000. We're gonna click okay. Now let's go back to estimate items. Like I said, one of the major ones that that uh, adjusters will run into is ice and water barrier. So let's do a search here real quick. Ice and water. Whoops. And water. Click on it. It's going to come down here, and you can see it's still under the coverage of dwelling. All right. So we're going to change that dwelling. Drop down arrow. And now you can see it's indented code upgrades under dwelling. Click on it. Come back up here. We're going to click on OK. And now if you notice that that has sort of turned a brown color, so we know it is a code upgrade. And also on the right, if you look at the RCV, the depreciation and ACV, it's got a line struck through what you're going to pay out. Let's just put in here eaves times three, just so we can see what happens. So now there's still a line through it and it shows, you know, the full price for RCV, ACV and your depreciation. And it's not going to pay the contractor until it's incurred. Right. And when you do the code upgrade, it automatically throws F9 note in here. So if we double click on this F9 note. It says this item did not previously exist or expands the scope of repairs, but is required by current building codes. The code upgrade cost is payable when incurred subject to limits. So you automatically have that F9 note in there when you do it, which is sort of nice because you don't have to go back and put an F9 note in. It's automatically put in. That is how you do a code upgrade, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, you want to see how to do something in Xactimate, 
please leave us a message and uh, we'll do our best to put a video out. Thanks for watching.